Wanted to mention this from MSN. A man is set to plead guilty Wednesday to killing 3,600 birds, including protected eagles, and selling their body parts and feathers on a black market. Travis John Branson of Washington State admits they participated in a killing spree of golden eagles and bald eagles, so he and his alleged partner could sell pieces of the birds and their feathers, according to uh, Montana federal court documents. Plead guilty, uh, not guilty in January. Um, the indictment reads, this, the, the bald eagle is not merely a bird of biological interest, but this country's national symbol, which reflects America's ideals of freedom. And so that's why they are, um, that's why he's looking at probably prison time and all the rest of it. Uh, you know, you probably know where I'm going with this. If you've listened to the show at all, you probably know where this is going. But anytime I see a story like this, I can't help but point it out. Um, that, you know, we have the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act, uh, which, by the way, prohibits uh, not just killing bald eagles, but it also, it even prohibits taking their feathers, even if you don't kill them. It's actually a crime. It's a federal crime to uh, confiscate bald eagle feathers, even if the bald eagle is unharmed in the procedure. So, we have, we have this law protecting them. And what's the reason? Let's, let's look at the two reasons that the indictment, this is the indictment of this guy who killed the, the bald eagles, which, which, and also, I don't condone that, killing 3,600 3, bald eagles. I don't condone, you know, you shouldn't do it. I'm, I'm opposed, in, fact, in fact, I'll go so far as to say I'm opposed to it. I'm opposed to going on a killing spree of bald eagles. Um, I'll even say that it feels excessive, killing 3,600 birds. That, that seems like a lot. That's a lot of birds to kill, uh, you know, Really, once you get over 10, I'd say that's, that's, that's probably too many. That's probably too many bald eagles to kill. Um, so that certainly is a lot. But let's look at the reasons they give the federal government for going after this guy to prosecute him. What do they say? Well, they say the bald eagle is a, is a bird of biological interest. I don't know what that means exactly, but a biological interest. And it's a symbol. It's a symbol. It's, it's, so this is something, uh, uh, you know, that is, that is sort of esoteric. This is like something that's, that's uh, not, 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 a, not a solid idea. Just it, it's symbolic. Um, those are the two reasons that they give. And then I can't help but think, wow. Yet, according to the federal government and the people running it, and according to the laws still in many states, uh, unborn human beings do not fall into either of those categories. You know, th- there is less protection in many states, and according to pro-abortions, it should be the pro-abortions should be this way in every state. Less protection for actual human beings than for birds. And again, go to the go to the reason. Why do we have to protect the bald eagles? Because they're of biological interest. Okay, is an unborn child not of biological interest? Whatever that means exactly, and I'm not, I'm still not sure precisely what it means. That the birds are, bi- but is is an unborn human child not of biological interest? And then, if we're going to go to something as ambiguous as it's a symbol. You know, it has symbolic significance. Can we not see any symbolic significance in a human child? I mean, I can see a lot more than symbolic significance, but is there no symbolic significance there? You know, amid the chaos of my daily life, I find solace in my Helix mattress. It's not just a mattress. It's a sanctuary that prepares me for the challenges of the next day. Helix harnesses years of mattress expertise to offer a truly elevated sleep experience. The Helix Elite Collection includes six different mattress models, each tailored for specific sleep positions and firmness preferences. If you're worried about buying a mattress online, Helix has you covered with a unique sleep quiz that customizes your mattress based on your body type and your sleep preferences. No more generic mattresses made for somebody else. I took this Helix quiz and I was matched with a firm but breathable mattress. I love this mattress and I'm confident that you'll love yours too. Plus, Helix has a 10-year warranty 
and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. Helix's financing options and flexible payment plans ensure a great night's sleep is never far away. Helix is offering my listeners 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows. Go to helixsleep.com slash Walsh. That's helixsleep.com slash Walsh. This is their best offer yet. It won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. If I were to make the argument for protecting unborn children, particularly protecting them on the federal level, if I were to make the argument for we need a federal law, which I do believe this, we need a federal law protecting unborn children, and I were to say that, that we need to protect them because they, they have symbolic significance, everybody would laugh. They would laugh at that. pro boards would laugh. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, but for a bird, for a freaking bird, we, we, we can have a federal law because of their, of their symbolic significance? So that, that's okay for a bird, but not for a person. I mean, this is the kind of thing, this is the kind of... Uh, contradiction that it, it's just, it is quite literally indefensible. There, you cannot defend it. The fact that there are federal laws protecting bald eagles, that there's more federal protection for an eagle than there is for a, for a human at its earliest stages of development is completely insane. And I think everybody knows that, which is why you know, the left, they won't, you know, this is not an argument they want to engage with. They're not going to speak up and like defend this. They just want to ignore it. But this is also why, despite what so many conservatives say now, uh, the cowardly conservatives who, um, you know, we, we get a, bit, a major pro-life victory with a row being overturned, and they've done nothing but complain about it ever since. Oh, no, we won something. We won something. This is terrible. Now the left is so mad at us for winning something. Pathetic. Despite what they say about how this is an unwinnable argument, we can't win it, you know, I got to leave it alone. Really? This is not winnable? Like any, any conservative in media who's telling us that they are so incompetent that they can't figure out a way to win, win with this argument, well, then, like, you shouldn't be, then what are you doing? You're, 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 not, you're not qualified to be speaking about anything publicly, frankly. You're not qualified to be any kind of a thought leader. If you can't figure out a way, like, really, you, can, can you at least make an argument that human children have more worth than bald eagles? That, you think that's a losing argument for us? Really? I don't think it is. I think the vast majority of people, when you tell them, and it's a fact, it is a fact, that bald eagles have more federal protection than human children at the earliest stages of development— I think when you tell most people that, uh, most people recognize that as inherently absurd. Um, it's just that you, ha this, you have to make the argument. And it's not often made. The problem with people on the right is that they allow the left to define the terms of the argument. They argue about things like abortion you know, on the left's terms and using their language and using their rules and using their framing. And if you do that, you'll lose. But this is a winning argument. I would love to see this. Maybe it's happened before and I don't remember. I would love to see this at a, as, at a debate. The Republican up on stage, Democrat. If there is any presidential debate, if that even happens, if we have it, even one presidential debate, which I don't think we will, um, I'd love to see this. You say to, to Biden, you know, there, there's, a, there's a federal law protecting uh, bald eagles. Do, do you believe, do you believe that, that eagles should have more legal protection than human beings at their earliest stages of development? Is that what you believe? Do you believe that eagles have more moral worth and more symbolic worth than human beings? Do you believe that? That's a great question. Isn't that a great, isn't that a great, isn't that a really good question? Seems like a fantastic argument to me. It's a fantastic argument. You know why you know it's a good argument? Because there's nothing your opponent can say that's not going to sound insane. Other than to just agree with you and abandon their argument entirely. But anything else they try, it's going to sound crazy. So, yeah, it's a winning argument, but you have to be, a, but, but you just have to make it.
Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.